Mitch, no. No, I'm doing something. I said no, I'm doing something. No. Hey, howdy. Welcome back. Today, I am here with a giant book haul. It's so big, you guys. I bought, hang on, let me count them. 22 books. I bought 22 books. The government is giving me a lot of fucking money right now. So I was like, what am I gonna spend it on? Books. I haven't had money to just like spend on books in so long, but since I'm getting so much from unemployment, um, because I work for a great corporation that was able to for Lois, um, I have a lot of extra spending money and so I decided why not get some of the books I've been meaning to buy for a really long time. The first ones are going to be uh, a couple that I picked up from a used bookstore here in town. I just picked them up about a week ago. Uh, they just opened back up and so I wanted to go in and look around and give them some money because they're one of my favorite used bookstores. Um, all their paperbacks are $2 which is such a steal. So I found a couple that I liked. The first one that I got is V.C. Andrews' Web of Dreams. This is the prequel to the Heaven series, I believe. If you don't know anything about V.C. Andrews, she's got so many books and so many series, and they're all kind of uh, familial thrillers. I read My Sweet Audrina last year, and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed her writing, so I've been just picking them up at used bookstores. They're kind of a used bookstore staple um, because they have these mass market paperbacks. So I got this one. And then I also picked up uh, Little Dorrit by Charles Dickens because I literally, the day that I went into the store, I had just been looking online for a copy of Little Dorrit that I liked and I couldn't find one that I really wanted to spend money on. And then voila, here it was for two bucks in this used bookstore. Some other books that I actually picked up from Barnes & Noble just today because today is the release of what everybody's been looking forward to this year, uh, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, the prequel to The Hunger Games. Unlike a lot of other people, I did not feel the need to reread The Hunger Games before I get into this book, um, just because my taste now in dystopia is so specific. I have a really hard time finding dystopian books that I actually like, and so I didn't really feel like rereading the series because the series is, holds such a special place in my heart. Like I loved it so much when I did read it and I feel like if I read it now I wouldn't like it as much. Um, but I do still want to read the prequel. I made a list at the beginning of the year of books that I wanted to get to this year and these were a couple books that were on it that I didn't own yet so I wanted to pick them up. The first one is Missoula, Rape and the Justice System in a College Town by John Krakauer. I'm from Montana, which is where Missoula is. Um, a lot of my friends go to this school, so I thought it would be interesting for that reason. And also, I just really like John Krakauer as a nonfiction writer, so I really wanted to get to it. A lot of my friends have already read this book, and I really want to be able to talk with them about it, and I just feel like it's something I should have read by now. And then I also have The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Surprise, surprise, Avery bought a book for the cover. Um, but I do really like the cover, and it's also supposed to be a mystery, like a murder mystery, which is right up my alley. So I got that one as well. The next ones I got that I'm going to show you are, um, I got them off of Book Depository. I shop on Book Depository a lot, specifically for if I'm looking for certain editions of books, which is true of these. I got Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf in the Vintage Classics edition. Uh, I really want to have all of these editions. I like Virginia Woolf a lot, and so I think it would be cool to have the whole collection. So I decided to start that off with this one. And then I also got three H.G. Wells books. Uh, I read The Invisible Man earlier this year, and I read it on my phone, and I loved it. I thought it was so good. I thought it was so well written, and so I've decided now that I'm going to be an H.G. Wells person. So I also picked up War of the Worlds and The Time Machine. So after that, I got two books from Book of the Month this month. I don't usually do Book of the Month. Like I've been getting their emails for a while, but I hadn't actually gotten a box yet. And then I found out that Sumant Kid's new book, The Book of Longings, was going to be an option for the box this month. And I was gonna buy this book anyway, but I was gonna buy the hardback for like $27. So I was like, what the heck? Why not try out Book of the Month? Get it for a little cheaper. 
Um, and so I got Sue Monk Kids, The Book of Longings. I love Sue Monk Kid. I love The Secret Life of Bees. I've read two of her books. I've read The Secret Life of Bees and The Mermaid Chair. Um, I didn't like The Mermaid Chair as much, but I love Secret Life of Bees. It's one of my all-time favorites. And this book is supposed to be about Jesus, um, but if Jesus had a feminist wife, which sounds like an incredibly interesting premise and something that Sue Monk Kid could probably do really well. So I'm super excited about this one. And then I also threw in um, A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCrate, mostly because I liked the cover. Which is about a woman who works as a lawyer and she gets a call from somebody that she knows in prison and it just kind of goes from there. It's a thriller slash mystery, I believe. And I am looking forward to this one as well. I'm super impressed with the quality of these book of the month books. Like, they are all have like the insignia on the actual hardback and they are like in great condition and they're nice and big and chunky and all hardback and I just am really impressed with the quality that you get for the price. The two biggest orders that I had um, were from bookshop.com which is an online book retailer that donates money to independent bookstores with every purchase. Um, which obviously I'm really into supporting independent bookstores, but our independent bookstore here doesn't have any way you can buy books online. I got Vernon Subutex by Despentes. This is by a French author translated into English, and from what I understand it's kind of an experimental novel, um, so it's a little weird, but I really loved the cover, <laughs> and I thought, why not try it out? And the there's, um, it's a trilogy I believe, and two of them are translated into English so far. The third one just came out in France, so it'll be translated soon, hopefully. And then I got I Am Not Okay With This by Charles Forsman. This is a graphic novel. Um, they just made a Netflix series of it. I have not watched the Netflix series yet. But Charles Forsman is also the same guy that wrote the comic The End of the Fucking World, which they also made a Netflix adaptation of, and I really enjoyed that. So I'm excited to read this and then watch the series and the art style is just so like fun. I'll show it to you. It's real like kitschy, like a little bit like a older, more mature, swearing Charlie Brown kind of look is what I'm getting from this. So I'm pretty excited about it. And then I got another new release. I got Sin Eater by Megan Campisi. I just thought it sounded like a really, really interesting book. Also loved the cover, loved the pomegranate. Pomegranates are just a theme this summer between this and the Midnight Sun that's coming out by Stephanie Meyer. Who's excited? I'm excited. I will openly say I was such a Twilight stan and the fact that Twilight is back is very exciting. So yeah, Sin Eater by Peggy Kim Busey. I'm gonna read it. And then I got a big boy. I got Dune by Frank Herbert and I got the edition with the blue pages. I've never read Dune but it's a science fiction book and I usually really like science fiction so I have high hopes for it. And also the movie comes out in December with my boy Timmy, Timothy Chalamet, and I am so excited to see it and I want to make sure I read the book first. Then I got V.E. Schwab's uh, Shades of Magic graphic novel. The Steel Prince, Knight of Knives. This is the second edition of the graphic novels that she's released for the Shades of Magic series. I like the first one, the third one comes out this month, I believe. And so I picked up the second one as well. And then I picked up a big boy called What It's Like to Be a Bird by David Allen Sibley. I decided out of the blue, out of nowhere, that I'm gonna get into birds. Um, so I wanted to get a book about birds and this seemed like a good basic start. David Allen Sibley is like the guy for bird books, like he's written so many bird books and so he seems like the expert to consult in my quest to learn about birds. I want to be like a person that can hear a bird and then be like, oh that's a insert name of bird here. I want to be one of those people. So. I'll let you know. And then my last group of books is from everybody's favorite book outlet. I got some great cheap finds. Um, the first one being another bird book 
this one less serious. It's called F and Birds by Aaron Reynolds, and it's just a book of pictures with birds and swear words, which if there was ever a book that was made for me, that would be it. And then I got Himself, uh, which is a novel by Jess Kidd. Uh, I read Jess Kidd's book, Things in Jars, earlier this year, and I loved it. It was so good, and I wanted more of her writing. And then I saw that they had this on Book Outlet, and I was like, hells yeah, I'ma get that. I'm not really sure what it's about. It's about an orphan and kind of how his life, from what I understand. And then I got the autobiography of Gucci Mane by none other than Gucci Mane, obviously. This is a book about Gucci Mane's life. Probably didn't need to explain that, but that's what it's about. I like Gucci Mane as a musician. I think he's pretty cool. And I also think that his life is pretty interesting. He went to prison, so. And it was only like four bucks. So yeah. And then I got Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Uh, I've never read Catch-22. I've never even really thought about reading Catch-22, but I know it's a classic and I know everybody likes it and so I decided I should get it because it was only like five bucks. In case you don't know, I'm an English literature major. Uh, I took a year and a half of college back in Montana as an English literature major and then I'm starting again in the fall in Colorado and so it's kind of just good for me to own all of the classics of literature. Uh, and I want to read as many of them as I can, so. And then, uh, I got Dead Blondes and Bad Mothers, Monstrosity, Patriarchy, and the Fear of Female Power by Sadie Doyle. I've heard really good things about this. I love feminist books and feminist rhetoric, so I'm sure I'll love this. And also, it had a cool cover. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the books I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at my horrible spending habits. I hope you like to watch my pain. Bye.